There's a man laughing there. Let's find out who he is. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Who's that? What flavour are your crust? They're uh, salt and vinegar. <laughs> Listen, it's all over now, apparently. People are ringing and in to say that the sun's I, shining again. I had to go out and put my sandwich heating on. Would it get very cold? The temperature fell by about 7 or 8 degrees. 10 degrees, actually. 10? Well, 7 or 8 here. But surely you can stand that for a minute and a half. Ah, uh, but I had to go out and put it on. Really? Oh, I. So you can put it off again now. And it was quite dark as well. <laughs> oh. No, it was. I must confess I feel a certain degree of disappointment. I'm surprised you didn't have any finger food. I have finger food here. I it's, it's only for me. That's finger food, isn't it? <laughs> it was quite, it was quite uh, strange seeing a darkening down, Jay. I didn't see any of that. I didn't see any birds flying about. Maybe they all went down to hibernate for the, till the daylight comes again. I hope you didn't look directly at the sun. There are people in Bangor doing that. So are you. So are you, Jay. The fools, the fools. Aye, uh, after all it's been said. I know, yeah. Just goes to show you. Sometimes you think you can say no, nothing uh, too often, and there are still fools out there. That's right. Who take a chance with their retinas. Oh, I could be damaging. Did you actually see the sun, did you? I did. I seen part of it, Jay, and I seen a slight... Uh, I seen a crescent on it. You could see partial mm. the moon coming across it, but there was only a slight break in the cloud. Yeah. Yeah, it's no good at all. No, no, no. It's the story of our lives here in Northern Ireland. We miss everything. Oh, I do indeed. James, I give you some research to uh, do. You didn't, DJ. You Remind me again. Hear that, I? Remind me again of the nature of it. It was a decision to charge extra for people on digital television on their license fee. Yes, let's get back to Earth here, because uh, there has been some talk recently that uh, there would be an extra charge for people who wanted to get dig uh, digital yes. television. And you asked I, me to find out what the people thought, and also would they be prepared to see advertising on what would they, or who would they like to see advertising on television or on radio, even if, uh, you know, the way they do it in downtown, will break for this message. Did I ask all those questions? You it seems did. quite complicated for me. You did ask them. Well, I, I remember something about that, yes. But see, it, it's... Uh, Okay, then, well, what's the it's result? Not long ago. It's, it seems a long time ago. Yes. Ah, it does indeed. Well, well the people are worried about extra well, expense. Well, clubs and all, and they were passing down to another century. That's right, yeah. It's a long time ago, Jay. I feel as if I'm somehow left behind. I feel as if I'm a 20th century You're man. You're on a time warp. Yeah, I think anything that occurs beyond December will be beyond me. I think I'll be a stranger in the 21st century. And maybe I've, you know... Well, we don't know. We'll see what happens. I You're only around a corner. That's right. I may have outlived my usefulness. Well, we don't be saying that. No, no, no I won't say it. No, I'm very depressed. No, I'm very depressed because a man wrote a song about me when I died. Did I? Yeah, I played it this morning, but you couldn't hear the words. I was... couldn't hear it. I, I, I didn't know what the hell he was talking about. No, it was just as well we couldn't hear the words. And you took it off? I took it off because I didn't like the words. Well, tell me the results right. of your survey. Now, I asked, what did they think about the decision to charge active for digital TV, and was it justified? Yes. 81% thought it was not. Really? Nine thought, oh, yes, because the BBC need to get extra revenue to try and get back into the sporting activity. Absolutely. They have absolutely nothing. Nothing you would look at? Not, well, there's two things, and that's basically it. Mm -hmm. or maybe three. Yeah. That was the tennis, the open golf, and the Grand National. Yeah. But you, know, you don't know what's going to happen. I, there, it used to, slogan used to be, Jerry, when I was a boy, BBC for sport. That was the slogan. The Fellas slogan used to be, when, at, when I was a boy, BBC for sport? For sport. Yeah. Even, even fellas at Banners, on, with that on it, running around test cricket grounds in different places. That's right. Now sure. that's... You just can't have that anymore. That's right, sure. Even Noel Edmonds couldn't take any more, and he can take anything. He's packed it in. That's right, sure. It's a disappointing and then, time. And then I asked him, did the BBC give value for money? And also, it, uh, and you know, Victor Mature's dead too because of it. Ah, uh, <laughs> You can back a bit now. 
Victor matured, uh, God bless him, he died yesterday. Did you know that? No, I haven't read the paper yet, Jay. That's right. He must be a fair age. 86 years old. You're joking. Yes, when he heard that Ali McCosh was leaving the BBC, it was the last straw. He collapsed, Maybe. he collapsed and died. Maybe he brought the temple down. That's right. He was the man. He, he was the man for, was. for pulling temples down. And he if was you, 86. He was indeed, yeah. If, if you wanted a man to play Samson, look no further oh, than That's him. right. That's mm-hmm. right. Now, I asked that the BBC give value for money, right? Yes, yeah, what did the people say? And only only 45% thought that... Or, or, there was actually 71% said no, they didn't give value for money. Yes, yes. 12% thought they did. Mm-hmm. And 17% weren't sure. Really? And then we came to the big crunch, should they advertise? Yeah. Right? Mm. Now, 64% of the people thought they should advertise. Did they? Yep. Did 29 they give... thought mm. not, and 9% didn't know. Did they give you any, any indication as to why they thought that way? Now, I, I asked who would they like to see advertise and what products would they like to see advertise. Right. Now, they would like to, they thought by can would be ideal for going for a paint and racing tips. That's right. I think he's the man for that, yeah. He's got that 17% kind of... 17% thought that. Only 17? Yes. Mm. And then 14% thought Hugo would be good for bakery items and confectionery. Cream buns and the like. Aye. Fattening cream items. <laughs> yes. Cream buns, cream buns. Yes. Right? Yes. That's... Now, the man for the newspapers and magazines, uh-huh. the thought is big on safe. Yes. He's got the authority. He has. The gravitas. To tell you what they read. Exactly. And right? if you don't read it, he'd beat you over the head with the newspaper. And you know the way they advertise these weekend breaks and so forth? Yeah, in Scotland and stuff. Yeah. Well, the only man for that was Daniel. Oh, yes. After all, he is in the business himself. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's, well, I, I thought that was quite good, actually. That's logical, yeah. Yes. And then the man they advertise caps and give golf tips is John Bannon. Oh, yeah, that right up his alley. He'd love that. Wouldn't I? Oh, he'd be so happy. Happy as a pig in, you know, <laughs> yes. in a golf cap. And then they, they were talking, I asked people what about household clean influence and pesticides. Solvents, yeah. And I thought that you would be a good man for that. For household products? I'm a little upset at that. I can't see the connection somehow. Well, you've been talking about it this last week or two. I'm not talking about it. The people are talking about no, it. They're making you, me talk about it. I see you were talking the other day about jazz fluid. I know, but I'm talking about that because the people want me to talk about it. I'm not talking about that because I choose to talk about it myself. I don't care about household products. Because a man annoyed me yesterday for hours about getting this chewing gum off his jumper. Oh, but didn't you tell him to put it in the fridge? Yeah. Or a freezer? Yeah, anything to get rid of him. Well, you see, you're all good for household. You'd be an ideal man for that. That's right, but I feel as if my expertise lies in something a little higher. I think I could sell washing machines and, and I TVs don't know, and I don't think... When, were you, when did you last wash your clothes? God, well, hold on a minute, let me just check. So you don't use a washing machine? Uh, no, I don't, actually. No, I wash and have everything. have you ever used a hoover? Well, I, I usually hoover with my clothes on. <laughs> Not like you. Yeah, there was somebody pepping. People, people were upset last week when you Did you? you suggested that you, when you confessed, really, that you used to hoover in the nude. People were upset at that. Were they? They were indeed, and rightly so. Well, tell me, so me for household uh, uh, cl- solvents? Sage. Yeah, uh, what else? Daniel for weekend breaks. Yes, yes. Don Seath for newspapers and magazines. Yeah, yeah. Duncan for bakery and confectionery. Yeah, and fancy goods, yeah. And Barry for going for a paint mm-hmm. and racing tips. What about George? Get George to advertise show band videos. Oh, I didn't, I didn't go that far, sir. No, there's, there's a limit. <laughs> well, that's good, but what like, can, can we not bring people in from outside? I mean, why should BBC people be the only ones to advertise products on oh, the BBC? But you, you specifically asked who would they like to see. Of course, you can bring outsiders in. Get you have to pay extra. That's right. Julian. You have to crank, cut the cost down. Okay, right. Well, you're, I... you're already getting paid. 
true. You wouldn't get paid any more. Oh, well, that's... Well, to hell with that for, for a game of cowboys. Oh, um, not at all. Wait a minute. No, BBC, you want to get extra revenue, Jay, to ten to try and organise different things. No, the reason... No, you've... No, oh, the reason you get all. extra revenue is to give the presenters more money. Not at all. Sure, we've lost the FA Cup final. I know, but that's why you lost Desmond Lytham and Noel McCartney and what do you call those other people? And uh, I still don't know who they're going to get to replace Lytham. You know, I'm going to whisper something now. Who? I'm going to whisper something to you. Who? No, it's not who. It's a... It's a. It's a, something, something that nobody's talking about. You see, there's a lot of stuff in the paper about Des Lynham leaving the BBC because they have no sport and because he felt a little stale and because he felt as if maybe he was showing the fact he was a little stale and he needed the challenge. That's right. Now, in all the papers, that's the line they're taking about how noble he is, how terrible it is to be in a job. You know, you're not happy. But none of them mentioned something that I thought is worth a mention. Maybe he left because he wanted more money. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sure he was getting plenty. No, he wasn't. He was getting twice as much. I think he left because he wanted money. Do you think so? I think so, yeah. I think so. And, and, then, the, and then you would say that if anybody offered you more money, you would Oh, say... no, I wouldn't take it. No, I'm not like him. No, my heart is with the BBC. My soul belongs to it. Money has never been my god. I, all I need is a satisfactory environment in which to work and to serve the people. A vast amount of money would only corrupt me and make me want to buy houses in Spain and big cars. And it would change my personality, and I don't want to do that because I'm happy the way I am, because I can serve the people. Do you think it would change your personality? Oh, it would indeed, Jeff. It turned me into an animal. Because I know what I'm like. I have an addictive personality. When I'm given things, I want more. That's why when I'm only given a little, I want more, and then when I don't get it, I'm happy. But if I keep asking for things and I get more, I go crazy. I'm right. like that. I didn't think of it a factory that way, you know. Oh, yes, I'm a terrible, terrible person. Nobody knows. Well, sure, you were getting extra money when you were on TV. And I know, it drove me crazy. That's why I had to And then you stay. lost it again. Yeah, but that wasn't... But did that not affect you then? It affected me badly, yes. I, slept, I sat in the house and card for about a year, but I came out again. I'm all right now. I've come to terms with it. Well, definitely, they need this revenue to buy more products for their All right. entertainment purposes. OK, James, that's been very uh, satisfactory and very knowledgeable, and uh, thank you for going to all the trouble to talk to all those people, and thank you for those very illuminating results. And I'm going to pass them on upstairs and see if, uh, indeed, any action is precipitated by the good work that you have so sternly done. Thank, uh, thank you very well, much. Well, I think advertising's only around the corner, Jay. Well, I'll be there when it starts. For extra... Okay, I'm going to advertise TV dinners. <laughs> okay, go away now. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye.